Hello my fellow Keyblade Wielders and welcome back to another video, I am the Kingdom Key and in today's video for you all I want to do another Kingdom Hearts discussion based video. Now today's video I want to talk about Kyrie and if she'll be a playable character in Kingdom Hearts 4 or in a later Kingdom Hearts title. There are two reasons mainly for this and I just want to get the obvious one out of the way. And just keep in mind this is all opinion based and it's just a discussion and yeah it's nothing to be taken too seriously. Uh, so the first one being that Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory was supposed to be a game for Kyrie or Kyrie's title. Uh, the little playtime we got with Kyrie was very very tiny and I feel like this game was not really a Kyrie based game and it did add some small important details but it wasn't really that great. Uh, so that's the obvious one out the way and I feel like Kyrie has definitely come a long way and deserves far far more screen time and playability time and she is definitely one of the characters I have been very interested to see grow as a character and she's always been important from the very beginning. Uh, she's sort of the glue that holds Riku and Sora together. And she is also one of the seven princesses of heart. And she is the one that she's the one princess of heart that can actually uh, push the darkness away from people, which is what she did to revert Sora from a shadow heartless to bring him back to himself. And she's also a princess of heart that can actually wield a keyblade. And she's come such a long, long way in Kingdom Hearts 3 compared to in Kingdom Hearts 2 where she got the Keyblade and swung it left and swung it right. She, in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind when playing as her, could do things like dropping fireballs on Xehanort. Uh, she could even teleport very quickly by, well I wouldn't even call it teleporting, but she could dash very, very quickly when pressing square. Uh, she could also just throw her Keyblade at her target, that being Xehanort at the end of Remind, and by throwing the Keyblade it would kind of push her towards or like teleport her towards her target and she could do a lot of damage to Xehanort as well. Uh, so Kairi was, with the very little amount of training she got with Merlin and Lee, was able to come a, a long way to holding her own in a fight and she proved that in Remind. And honestly, playing as Kyrie with her playstyle was honestly a lot, a lot of fun, uh, in my opinion, and she didn't feel too floaty or anything else. And Kyrie has always made it a point that she wants to, um, you know, hold her own and not have to rely on Sora and Riku. And we finally get to see her do that in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. And she's gonna be a very important role in Kingdom Hearts 4 and other titles to come and I think that Kairi is probably one of the main characters that I see worthy of being a Keyblade Master because of how she is taking accountability for things and she wants to be able to stand her ground and she's taking things very seriously and she is also like I've mentioned a princess of hearts so to me it would make sense that she becomes a Keyblade Master. Not in Kingdom Hearts 4 obviously that would be way too soon but I would like maybe a game where Kairi is the main focus and we take a journey in her shoes and see her pull some of her own feats because Sora and Riku have done so many. But if that wouldn't be the case, I do think maybe about an hour or maybe two hours of gameplay as Kairi at the start of one of the future titles or maybe even in four could be really, really great and I think Kairi is deserving of that time. Uh, but also she's going to play a huge role along with Riku, Mickey and Donald and Goofy in bringing Sora back from Quadratum and I do think that she is possibly going to be an understudy of Aqua as well, but I might have got that information wrong. You can politely let me know in the comments down below if I have. Uh, but what do you all think about this? Because I personally feel like Kairi was probably one of the favorite, fun, sorry, one of the funnest characters to play as in Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Uh, remind. <laughs> 
I'm getting all my words muddled up today. What a goof. What a doofus goofus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like Kyrie was a lot of fun to play as in Remind, and it just made me want to have a proper Kyrie game or more experience playing as Kyrie. And I see a lot of potential in her as a character overall and how she is going, and I'm impressed with the gameplay. Uh, from Kyrie and seeing how well she's come in such a short period of time with Keyblade training and it's it's gonna be a lot of fun to see what future games and titles have to offer for Kyrie as she is a very important character. Anyway that's a small discussion um I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you do do me a favor slap a like on it just lets me know how much you enjoyed today's video and just lets me know that you enjoyed this type of content and if you want to see more of it. Also, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? It's completely free and there is never Kingdom Hearts content lacking here on my channel. So I do lots of things from Kingdom Hearts facts, theories, discussions, lore explanations, and a whole bunch more. So feel free to subscribe and I'd appreciate your support. With that all being said, I am the Kingdom Key. I hope all of you have a great day. May your heart be your guiding key. Do the best that you can, spread kindness and positivity and love to yourself and towards others. And with that all being said, I hope that you guys have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.